Taurus, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for November 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Wands. This could be a sense of curiosity towards something or someone. This could be even the energy of someone around you. I don't know. We'll see. Um, in the recent past, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. I feel like it took initiative to possibly end something or come out of some sort of something. It, it looks a little painful. It looks it could be friendship. It could be romantic. It could be just about anything. But it does seem like... Somebody did something about it and things ended. Um, in the current situation, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, another soul connection is looking like it's fading away, basically, or you're fading away from it. I don't know, because you're looking like you're um, either stepping away from it, either things are starting to look a little calmer in that situation. We'll see. In the immediate future, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Death card. Slowly but surely taking the proper steps to end something. This reading is all about endings, and I'm not sure if it's in regards to one situation and that's it. I feel like it, it includes multiple scenarios here, but we'll see. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the page of wands. <clears throat> Seven of Cups, the Hangman, the Five of Cups. Uh, I kind of see you looking at other options, other possibilities than the ones you're dealing with. And it's kind of taking you back in the past by the looks of it. And I feel like you're not doing anything about that. Just looking, just analyzing, just being like, hmm, I wonder what's going on in that direction. Um, there's a lot of sadness attached to this, though. I don't know. Let's see the Three of Swords in the recent past. Hold on. I didn't like the way all of these decided to come out. So we'll play again. Let's see, Three of Swords. Same kind of situation. It's like, I don't want to talk to you about this. Well, I don't care, Taurus. I'll talk to you about it. If you don't want to talk to me about it, it's fine. I'll still talk to you about it. Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Justice card. Someone wanted to make things right. I feel like they didn't put enough effort into the situation, even though their intention was to balance things out rather than have anybody be in pain over something. And I feel like that was you here. Um, it wasn't enough though. It wasn't enough to bring in the balance. The energy was put in, but it wasn't enough to bring in balance. It was enough to cause pain more to you than the other person. Um, I feel like pain was brought in on both sides anyways. And of course, roles can be reversed, so this doesn't have to be you. Let's do the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, King of Swords. This, this seems to be more of a friendship rather than anything. Um, at least it felt that way to you in the moment. And I feel like, I don't know if this is stubbornness or trying to be in control, because this King of Swords kind of tells me, well, I know what I'm doing here. Well, okay, but there's pain, there's disappointment here. So that tells me that somebody's really hanging on to this energy of um, knowledge about the whole situation, instead of just 
you know, kind of trying to mellow things down a little bit. They're kind of, mm, I know what's up. But I know this, I know what's up kind of causes grief and separation and things not working out in a particular situation. So a little bit of stubbornness here by the looks of it. Uh, let me do the Six of Swords in the current situation. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords. Walking away from conflict. Um, I do feel there's love in a particular situation you're sharing with someone, but there's also a lot of conflict. At least at this current time, it feels like there's a lot of conflict. Um, of course, this could be inner conflict that you're having with yourself about this, or you could be arguing with someone over and over and over again, and you're like, I'm, I'm pretty much tired. Um, and it's causing a lot of stress for you. So it's like, okay, I need a break from this. Um, let's do the Ten of Pentacles in the current situation. Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Hierophant. There's definitely a soul connection that's really close to your heart here that I feel like you want to do something about this. Um, you want to make it work. I don't know if you are or not. It does look like you're in that position of at least the energy is favorable for you to um, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. I don't know if you're uh, aligning with this energy, though. Let's do the Six of Cups. Two of Swords, Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles, interesting, because this Page of Wands is showing up in your past there as in you're open to exploring some options in there, but it's of the past, this energy. And it's making you get stuck in your head, this whole situation. The good news is I see you learning from it regardless. So even though you may feel like, oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what to do, all of that. There's a valuable lesson within this somewhere. You're just not going to get it now because I'm not getting it now because right now you're stuck in your head about it, but it'll come. You know, whatever it is that you're learning about this will come. Uh, let's do the Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Ace of Cups, the Magician, the Star. You're manifesting love. Your desire here shows up as being love, a brand new beginning in love to be more specific. Um, you're moving slow towards this manifestation, but at least you're moving. So it's like you're putting something out there in the universe and then you're starting to move towards that intention. And even though you're moving slow, you're at least moving so that you can meet whatever the universe sends you from this. It, it, it looks pretty cool and it looks pretty doable. It's just not going to happen overnight. You know, let's do the Hermit. Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. I feel like something ended basically for you, possibly quite a while ago. And you're either taking it as, yeah, okay, it ended by, um, no big deal. Or there's, there's lack of dealing with it. There's a whole lot of healing that needs to be done in this department. And you're showing up here with the Five of Swords. You're showing up as if, yeah, I'm doing, look at me, how much healing I'm doing about this. I'm having a hard time to believe you here with this five of swords showing up you know you may be thinking you're doing a lot of healing you may be feeling you're doing a lot of healing but i feel like what you're doing is going in there doing a little bit of healing maybe and then trying your best to avoid the situation because it feels like it's painful it's nothing you would want to voluntarily go into be like yeah uh, pain let's go let's let's do this Nobody does, you know, but we tell ourselves a lot of the times that, yeah, we do. Yeah, take it on pain. Look at me, you know, so let's do the death card. The tower, the lovers, the ace of pentacles. There's definitely something very important, very deeply felt 
on your side when it comes to love, when it comes to a particular situation, a particular connection, that I feel like it's shown up in the 3D world as it's done, it's over. Uh, what's shocking about this, what's shown up here, is that it's actually not. It does have the energy to be restored, to look at a brand new beginning. It's really up to you, it's really up to them, it's really up to... The, the energy is definitely available for this to, uh, excuse me, I'm not done here, you know, kind of thing. Um, see what the universe has to close it off. I love how it all, when the universe ties it all together in like three cards. The Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles, the energy of the past, the thing that was lost. Um, the Two of Cups kind of combining the energy of the present and especially the immediate future. Um, it feels like things are kind of turning around for the better here, um, are taking a good direction kind of going to the past, bringing it all back in a beautiful kind of way, kind of thing. That's how it's looking. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.